Coming up on today's show, we will explain how the Kansas City Chiefs fixed their biggest flaw this offseason entering 2024. Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us here on today's program. Before we go any further, as we catch it down to the Chiefs preseason matchup coming up this weekend against the Detroit Lions, we are doing a sub battle with our boy Micro Mike there at Detroit Lions Talk. And we're trying to see who can pick up the most subscribers between now and kickoff. You can see we got a slight lead, 34 new subs. Lions Talk at 31. Sub it up if you want to beat the Lions, not just on the football field, but off the football field as well, and show why we have the best fans in the National Football League. Subscribe now for daily Kansas City Chiefs coverage right here on the Chiefs Report for free, youtube.com slash Chiefs TV. All is good in the neighborhood for the Kansas City Chiefs when it comes to the wide receiver room entering 2024. What was the biggest weakness for this squad last season has quickly turned into a strength for this team entering this year. Going into 2023, ESPN had rated the Chiefs as the 26th best receiving core in the NFL. And some people thought that they had maybe even the worst receiving core in the NFL last year, not including the tight end position, obviously, just the sole focus at the wide receiver spot. So what did they do? Well, the Chiefs started off things in free agency with a bang, bringing in Marquise Brown from the Arizona Cardinals, the former first-round pick out of Oklahoma who would played with the Baltimore Ravens. They also drafted Xavier Worthy out of the University of Texas as they made the trade with the Buffalo Bills to be able to snag Worthy. We'll have more on both these guys coming up in just a bit. McCall Hartman also re-signed in free agency. He was a late addition to this Chiefs team last year via trade and made the game-winning catch in the Super Bowl. And yet a couple more as well as uh, uh, Jaron uh, Hayek also joined the squad, as did Kyle Sheets. And then uh, you had some departures. And I'll be honest, when I look at the departures as we're about to go through here, none of these guys – are going to hurt you, the fact that they're playing elsewhere. MVS is gone now, uh, playing with the Buffalo Bills, for that matter, and I've heard some bad things about how that's going. You lost Shai Smith. Also, Anthony Miller, Reggie Brown is gone now. Uh, you also, a couple other names that you moved on from include uh, the likes of Derek Miller. Also, uh, Jacob Copeland is gone. And then uh, you moved on from... Uh, uh, gathings as well. And so with that, like with these transactions from the Kansas City Chiefs, it's kind of been addition by subtraction. You got a, rid of a lot of dead weight in this receiving core as a result. Entering 2024 is a whole lot better than what it was last year. If the season started today and everybody's healthy, then Xavier Worthy would slide in at the left wide receiver position, Marquise Brown at the right wide receiver position, and Rasheed Rice as your slot receiver with guys behind them like Sky Moore, Justin Ross, Watson, Tony Hardman, among others here. This is a much improved group. And even with the Marquise Brown injury that occurred in the preseason opener, he's expected to make a return and should be back sooner than later. They don't think it's as serious of an injury as initially thought when he was hospitalized on Saturday night, you have to feel much better about this Chiefs receiving group entering 2024. And think about this. I am of the belief that the Chiefs in their Super Bowl run last year had the worst roster as a whole for the Mahomes era and the worst receiving core in the Mahomes era here in Kansas City. And now, not only has the roster as a whole improved from what it was last year, but the receiving core has taken massive steps forward as well. This is going to be a big improvement. And the big winner in all this is Patrick Mahomes of who he has to work with now and the ways that they can uh, maximize this passing game here in 2024. I'm excited. How would you grade the Chiefs wide receiver unit entering 2024. Give me a grade in the comments section, A, B, C, D, or F. 
What do you think about these guys going into this year? Weigh in and let us know. Today's show is sponsored by Game Time. Game Time is a place to go for the best seats, the lowest prices guaranteed. Last minute tickets. Game Time is an authorized ticket marketplace of Major League Baseball, which makes getting tickets faster and easier. Prices on the Game Time app actually go down the closer it gets to first pitch. With last minute deals, all in prices, views from your seat in their lowest price guarantee. Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying MLB tickets. Save up to 60% off buying last minute for sports, concerts, comedy shows, theater productions, and more. Here's how it works you choose the event you'll want to go to, they got the prices listed, then you get to choose your seat. See if you like that seat or not, get the visual, and then you're checking out just like that with Apple Pay, Google Pay, Venmo, all major credit card providers. Download the Game Time app, create an account, use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Term supply, again, create an account, redeem code C H A T S B O R T S for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. The link is in the comments and the description of today's video. So let's focus now on Xavier Worthy and Marquise Brown. Let's start with Xavier Worthy here. The 2024 first-round pick out of the University of Texas was terrific with the Longhorns, a part of an explosive offense that made it to the college football playoff this past year, won the Big 12 Conference, was a two-time All-Big 12 first-team selection in 2021 and in 2023, and he enters the league as the fastest man in football, set the 40-yard dash record at the Combine this year with a 4.2140 time. And his numbers at UT were pretty solid. 75 catches with over 1,000 yards, 13.5 yards of reception, five touchdowns. Also had five drops. We'll talk about the drops here in just a second. But what are they saying about Xavier Worthy? We'll tell you here in just a bit, let you hear directly from Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes. But let me say this. Don't get me wrong, Worthy is extremely fast. No question about it. But we would be a little short-sighted here if that was the only thing we pointed to when it comes to Xavier Worthy. His skill set that he's bringing to this Kansas City Chiefs offense is well beyond just pure speed. I think you're going to be impressed of the all-around player that Xavier Worthy is and what he's bringing to this Chiefs offense. Andy Reid said the following on Xavier Worthy. I thought he did a nice job of picking up things, working through. We asked him to do a whole lot of stuff there, but we put him in a primary spot, and it was good for him to get in there and move around a bit. He's a sharp kid. Obviously, he's fast, but it's almost like he runs fast, and he can run with pace fast. This is Patrick Mahomes, by the way. And so he's able to track the ball really well. He runs a lot of great routes, and he's going to get as physical a camp as any here. So he's going to be doing a great job trying to fight off press as best as he can, getting through there and making plays happen, and he'll keep getting better and better. The scouting report on Xavier Worthy, he is a primary deep threat type of ability that he offers for this Chiefs offense. Short area explosiveness. He's a bit twitchy and controlled as well. Quick feet, loose hips. Hips don't lie. Shout out Shakira. And the the big knock on him, we mentioned the drops. He did have some careless drops in the open field at the University of Texas. So that'll be a big point of emphasis for him to work on is trying to lessen the drops, if you will, and be uh, a little less careless with the football there. Do you believe in Xavier Worthy? Is he worthy? Let's hear it in the comment section. Let us know. B for believe, D for don't. Are you all in on Xavier Worthy? Chime in and let us know. Let's talk more about Hollywood Brown. He is a bit banged up right now, but he's expected to be back sooner than later. No pun intended for the Oklahoma Sooner. Uh, first round pick there out of uh, Oklahoma goes to the Baltimore Ravens, played with Lamar Jackson his last season in Baltimore in an offense that didn't really like to throw the football a ton, still had 1,000 yards. Goes to the Arizona Cardinals, didn't have a ton of success there with Arizona, and there was a lot of quarterback issues with that Cardinal team as Kyler Murray wasn't healthy and they struggled with the backups and all that. But even with that said, this is somebody that's had four straight seasons with over 50 catches. So you would have to think – that if he can keep that going, just the fact that he's in this offense, getting to play with the best quarterback in football, the most talented quarterback that we've seen in the history of the game, and playing with this set of skill position players alongside Kelsey and Worthy and Rasheed Rice and others, 
that Marquise Brown can get back to form of what he was his final season in Baltimore, if not better than that. Brown has the ability to stretch the field in ways that we haven't seen really since Tyreek Hill was here. When Tyreek Hill left, the Chiefs changed up their offense where they became more of a short passing offense and Mahomes wasn't able to take as many shots downfield and had to become a more disciplined passer, uh, was not in a position where he was always chucking it down and hoping that Tyreek would come up with it. It changed how Mahomes played and ultimately made him a better quarterback as a result. Now you have deep threat options like Marquise Brown and Xavier Worthy that are a total game changer for what the Chiefs are trying to do on this offense. Andy Reid had this to say on Marquise Brown. He can play inside and out, and I stay away from saying a deep threat, although he can do that. He can play within the offense and do all of the different routes that we asked. That sounds like a a good recipe for me. Patrick Mahomes had this to say on Marquise Brown. I think everybody's seen his speed, the way he's able to track the football down the field, which I will obviously use. That's something that's huge, and I think we need to continue to get better and better at this offense. I think that the route running is what I've been pleasantly surprised by. I mean, just the way he's able to get in and out of cuts. He has a good feel for space, and he wants to learn more and more. So let's ask you, is Hollywood Brown going to be the Chiefs' leading wide receiver? What do you guys think? Is he the leading wide receiver? We're taking Travis Kelsey, of course, out of the equation in this case. What do you What do you think? Type Y for yes, in for no, way in. Is he going to be the Chiefs' leading wide receiver this year? Let us know. Thanks for joining us here on this edition of the Kansas City Chiefs Report by Chat Sports for continuing coverage on the defending Super Bowl champions. Subscribe now, youtube.com slash chat slash Chiefs TV, youtube.com slash Chiefs TV to subscribe now for free. I'm Tyler Jones. We'll see you next time.